Uh, training's been very good, uh, very, very tough at the beginning of the week. The players are ready physically. Uh, now we start to look at the more intricate details, the tactical details that will help us uh, win the game come Sunday. Um, yeah, we went to, we changed the system. It's always been in my plans, to be honest. Uh, since I got the job, I saw that there was going to be an international break in March uh, before we, we had the virus. But I think that was a good time to give the players another uh, tactical system that they can be competent with. Uh, we worked 4-3-3 uh, and 4-2-3-1 in pre-season, uh, but I thought it was important not to overload them with tactical information. For some of the players it was very, very new concepts uh, and I think the system really suits some of our players. Uh, our attacking players are getting, for sure, well you, you can see they're scoring more goals, but we look a lot more comfortable and the system suits us well and the the break has actually been good for us in terms of time that we could spend on the training pitch uh, uh, the players kept themselves in good physical condition when they trained at home so when they came back to me they were uh, ready to work on the tactical uh, concepts of the game yeah firstly with Sok Peng uh, he has been improving since the moment that I took the job and started working with the team. Uh, I can see real hunger in him to improve. Uh, for me, he, he is the best Cambodian player with the most talent. And combining that with hard work on and off the pitch, uh, we're hoping to see more from that. Uh, tactically, defensively, uh, there are some things he needs to improve and he knows that and he's working every day to get better. Um, so I hope we see a lot more of Sok Peng, a lot more man of the matches, a lot more goals and a lot more assists. Um, for Philip, he lost his place in the team through suspension. He was very disappointed not to start the game against Bati, uh, which I like. I don't want players who are happy to be on the bench. Uh, but he responded very, very well. He came on in the second half, uh, scored a goal trained really, really well uh, in the week leading up to the next game, earned his place and of course a uh, hat-trick hat -trick last week and, and it's also an assist but for Philip we have to remember he came very late uh, to join the team and to build relationships with your teammates in terms of an attacking sense it's going to take time but Philip will for sure, wherever he plays will score goals but he's building a relationship with, with his teammates uh, he's been making very good runs since he first joined the club, but we couldn't quite get him the ball. Uh, now he's getting a lot more of the ball and we're, we're hoping the best the best of uh, Philip is is yet to come. And of course, Bon Heng, uh, I've spoke a lot about him already. What a professional. Uh, worked very, very hard since he's came in and thoroughly deserves his place in the, the, the starting lineup. Uh, four goals in his last four games, uh, tactically very clever, uh, you don't need to say a lot to him. He knows his job and he is an, a, an example to all of the players in Cambodia through hard work and determination. Uh, you can play a national team, you can play for one of the biggest teams. Uh, Paul Rott had a slight tweak with his MCL, uh, so he wasn't available last week, he hasn't trained fully this week. He's still being assessed by the medical team but uh, we hope maybe he can continue. Uh, Zazai has a problem with his calf also today he joined the team uh, for a part of the session but we see if, if he is ready if they're ready for Sunday or not. Uh, facing my old team, uh, my old colleagues, uh, the fans will not be there but they'll be watching from home. Uh, it's a game that the first game I looked to at the beginning of the season uh, I think Swayarin have helped Cambodian football massively, particularly in terms of how they've competed in the AFC Cup. They are at a level that all of the teams aspire to get to. Uh, they have a very good coach, uh, a lot of individual quality and experience in their team. The team has played together for a long time. Uh, but I'm very, very confident in my players that we're going to go and give a good account of ourselves on Sunday but it's for sure a game I'm excited about.
for our fans. Uh, again, I thank you for your support. Uh, we see it through social media. Uh, also, before we go to the game, sometimes they are they are waving they are waving the bus goodbye uh, before we play away games. But to our fans, I can't promise we will win. I cannot promise we will lose. I cannot promise we will draw. But I can promise that the players will leave everything on the pitch and try their best. It's they have been working very very hard and. They're excited for the fans to come back. Good friend.